Well, from TV stars to films and a former Disney animator is using Wiltshire as his home base to make internationally award-winning short dramas. Local landmarks feature prominently in the action. And tonight, two of those films are being shown in a double bill at Marlborough's Parade Cinema. Alice Bouvery is there for us tonight. Alice. Yes, welcome to the Parade Cinema in Marlborough. And this is a special evening because alongside the, uh, the blockbuster Hollywood movies like June 2, we've got two very special films which have been shown tonight called Censured and Confines. And they've been made by local director Richard Baisley. Now, Richard used to work on in Hollywood doing on films like Hercules and Pocahontas as an animator, but has recently turned his hand to directing film shorts. And he's used Wiltshire not only as his home, but also as for his locations and also using local talent to star in his films. And here is a taster from one of them now. I saw my escape blur. Now, confines and censure between them have won over 50 awards. We're talking Cannes, we're talking Venice, New York, LA, of course, Marlborough. Very, very important. Richard, oh, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for talking You're to welcome. us tonight. I mean, how great is it coming home with your films? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, our film has played all around the world from Cannes to uh, New York at the Producers Club to the Fine Arts Theatre in Beverly Hills. But it was all made locally with local talent. And one of our, our, our leads in the first film, uh, Connor, is from Marlborough. And when I saw his audition tape, it was for a film in Ireland. And I had no idea he lived up the road. So all this talent is all around us. And it's just finding them all. And here they are tonight, a lot of them. And you're showcasing Wiltshire locations as well. For example, oh, Caution Park Caution, features in Caution one of them. Caution Park, um, Box. There's a blind house that we use um, for a lot of the film, although we she cut away to a lot of other, other locations to give it interest. Um, it's so rich. I mean, the Hollywood uh, filmmakers come here they from War Horse in Castle Coombe. Um, Caution, Poldark was filmed there. So I can just walk out my back door and film. Fantastic. Lovely. Now, Shelley Whitehead, you're Hello. from from the cinema. I mean, it's obviously a really important evening for you as well. Brilliant evening. It's lovely to get so many people here from far and also the local community as well, because we're a community cinema. We really love to showcase local talent. It's really important to us. I mean, how can you manage that alongside? I'm sure you're a small venue, but you need to you know, try and cater to the demands of your audience Absolutely. as well, don't you? It's really, it's really challenging for a small cinema. We're at the sort of behest of the distributors and we're negotiating all the time, but we try to to be really community focused. We have local talent through these types of events with Q and A's. We showcase local artists in our foyer as well. And we have a festival in the summer for bands, but back to the films, it's really challenging. Really. Brilliant, lovely. So just later tonight, there's a Q and A with the audience here. Are you looking forward to that guys? Yeah. They're such a good, good audience, such a good audience. Thanks very much, Alice. Hope you have a good time there. It is nice. I do like the parade cinema in Marlborough.